The Snowden Files revealed a global system of surveillance that seeks to collect all electronic communications between human beings. But why does the NSA pursue this goal? What is the motivation behind the desire to collect it all? When looking for the reasons behind today's comprehensive data collection, one date pops up over and over again, and that is 9-11. The terrorist attacks on the 11th of September 2001 provide the context and the pretext that has made today's surveillance system possible. The horror of 9-11 did not just lie in the live coverage of the attacks. What was equally shocking to anyone working in the Western security establishments was the ingenuity of the attacks. The ability of a small group of sleeper cells, living undetected in Western societies, hijacking civilian airliners with box cutters, and by using suicide tactics, turning the civilian infrastructure into deadly weapons. For the US and most Western governments, this had been unthinkable. To them, 9-11 revealed a new type of enemy, an enemy unlike any other, ubiquitous, permanent, hidden, global, and willing to use any means possible. What happens with 9-11? is a kind of snapping into place, a system of logics around uh, a quote-unquote new type of war and a new type of enemy. Threat becomes distributed across the landscape. It's not even associated with a particular nation state. It's, it's associated with a distributed network that can emerge any time, any place, according to the rhetoric of the war on terror. So ge geography and temporality switch. Right? Uh, it's not associated with discrete moments, the way, for example, the Cold War nuclear attack was. It's associated with ongoing, potentially endless uh, insurgency and struggle. These are fundamentally uh, important to the way in which surveillance takes shape after 9-11, because it becomes portrayed as necessary against the background of ubiquitous threat uh, to generate ubiquitous forms of surveillance. If an attack can happen anywhere, anytime, by anybody, through any threat vector, uh, then by definition everybody has to be monitored all the time and as comprehensive a database of information has to be generated as possible. And once Western governments were caught in this mode of thinking, it became imperative for them to think of the unthinkable, both to prevent further attacks of this kind from happening and to actively fight this new enemy with military force. As a result, 9-11 marked the point that turned the existing security paradigm inwards. We still live in the shadow of 9-11. Uh, it had a dramatic impact on how governments think about uh, national intelligence, national security, and surveillance. Prior to 9-11, I think it's fair to say most governments were concerned about what other governments were doing, and they oriented their national intelligence collection operations accordingly. Uh, they were concerned that in the middle of the night, a state on the other side of the planet would launch a ballistic missile, so we need to anticipate and defend against this. After 9-11, the concern shifts inward to all of society, all of the time. That the threat is now primarily, not solely, but primarily about an, an individual or a small group of individuals will blow themselves up uh, or uh, blow up an airline uh, causing uh, panic. And as a consequence, government agencies have started to engage in mass surveillance and targeted surveillance of entire populations. In other words, 9-11 served to accelerate this inward turn of the security paradigm. 9-11 had a, a very big impact on how 
people in the te- intelligence community thought about addressing security threats. And it was particularly the failure to anticipate 9-11 that led to a paradigm shift in intelligence collection. So prior to 9-11, I think we can certainly see remnants of how things are done now. But because you had this dramatic episode and huge loss of life in the heartland of the United States, not surprisingly, uh, people started asking, why did this happen? Could we have prevented it? And the answer, rightly or wrongly, was that we needed to be able to connect the dots uh, to find out, you know, maybe if we knew this person rented this car and took this uh, flight lesson, uh, made a hotel reservation, booked a flight, and we could somehow correlate that information, we would have been able to interdict those people and prevent 9-11 from happening. And so the paradigm shifts from looking for the needle in the haystack to collecting the entire haystack, to use that metaphor, to collect it all.